Tom Keelock was the Stones' minder and driver from 1965 to 1969. These are his recollections of visiting the set of Barbarella with Keith Richards. After the drug bust at Redlands, the whole of 1967 seemed like one long wait between court appearances and morale was at an all-time low. It was a very worrying time and I began to fear there was a very real chance of at least one of the boys, if not two, going to prison for a long time. And I think they thought so too. It was during this period that I was down at Redlands looking after Keith while he was out on bail. Anita Pallenberg, his girlfriend, was away in Rome filming Barbarella. Keith spent the whole time moping around and ringing her up constantly. I said, Keith, I'm fed up with sitting around here looking at your miserable face. Why don't we fuck off to Rome? You know they won't let me out of the country, Keith said. I've had a brainwave, I told him. Ring Anita and tell her to send a telegram over from Roger Vadim, the director, saying you're wanted over there to write the film score and you have to watch the rushes. But I'm not, was Keith's half-hearted reply. I rung up Michael Havers, his lawyer, and fed him what I'd cooked up, stressing the point that by not letting Keith go, it was, in fact, losing Keith his livelihood. And in view of the possibility of Keith facing a big fine at best, the situation needed sorting out. That's an interesting point. I'll see what I can do was his response. We waited and we waited and eventually Havers got us into high court, where they miraculously agreed, providing I coughed up 10 grand bail and on the condition I went with him and guaranteed personally that I'd deliver him back to face the music on court day. We got to the office to post bail and I drove Keith and Peter Howard, another of his solicitors, to the airport. See you in Rome. Now I'd already broken the rules by not accompanying him on the plane, as Howard quite rightly pointed out but he agreed to overlook it if I promised to take him with me in Keith's Bentley. Apparently, he'd never been to Rome. We all met up on the film set, where we were given a VIP tour and were invited to a special aftershoot party organized by Jane Fonda. Everyone had to bring something to the party, so I told Keith I'd make a big hash cake as our contribution. I drove to a food store and bought a few boxes of cake and chocolate mix and took it back to the hotel. I followed the instructions as best as I could but it looked horrible. I'd already scored the stash upon arrival from one of the many contacts I'd sorted out across Europe. So I had all my ingredients and, amazingly enough, when it was finally ready, it looked half decent. I triumphantly presented my cake at the party, where Keith and Anita and the cast and crew greedily tucked in. I had successfully managed to steer Peter Howard away from my concoction. It wouldn't have done to have had Keith represented by a stone solicitor, as interesting as it sounds. Keith came up to me at the party later and started complaining the cake wasn't having any effect. I was most put out seeing as I'd put the whole of the gear in the mix at once. I thought I must have been done and that wasn't on, when... Bang! Everyone was in outer space. The actor, John Philip Law, who played the part of the blind angel, later said to me. I didn't need those wings Tom. I was flying for days without them. He wasn't joking. If you watch the film now, you can see how much he was out of it. <laughs> 